today I just wanted to record something that felt important for me to clarify. And that is that throughout all of my videos, through about everything that I talk about, the key foundation of all of this stuff is that you trust your own direct experience above all else, even above everything I'm saying, right? I'm not making these videos for you to believe something new, for you to kind of take what I'm saying and be like, oh, okay, I believe it. I believe that this is true. That's why I'm not interested in getting into debates with people. People will often come up with an intellectual comment about what I'm saying, but oh, what does this mean, you know, in relation to this or, you know, oh, there's a reason that this isn't true. That's not what I'm talking about. It's really not what I'm interested in at all. What I'm trying to do here is help you to go into your direct experience. So take what I'm saying and use it to trust your own experience as it is. That's all, I, all I'm trying to do. Sure, okay, I, I make different videos talking about different things. And in some videos, I'm, I'm specifically trying to point out what's keeping somebody stuck or I'm sharing something from my journey or I'm addressing kind of a specific viewpoint that is very much, you know, unhelpful. So I will talk about different things in different ways and, you know, maybe each video has got a different flavor to it. But just keep this in the back of your mind when you listen to what I'm saying, when you're watching my content, if you find it helpful, if it resonates, that is awesome. I'm, I love to hear that. But trust your experience. If I'm saying, you know, in some videos, maybe I'm a little bit sharper because I think that's helpful sometimes. But at the same time, there's always going to be some point of view that I'm not going to be able to cover in every video, right? If I'm talking about people that get fixated in strict pacing, if you just watch that, I always try to cover the other side of it. But, you know, sometimes somebody will say, oh, but this is dangerous for somebody that's stuck in in this place, maybe they need to apply pacing. And obviously I can't, it would be like a two to three hour video if I had to cover every single point each time. I can't do that. So take that with a pinch of salt, right? If you can apply this to everything, there's this point of view that I'm gonna take from this video what is helpful. And if it challenges me, then I'm gonna use that as well. If you can apply that to every video, not just my content, this is what was so important in my journey, was this kind of shift and stop looking for something to nitpick, a reason to kind of argue, a reason to be skeptical. Sure, skepticism is great. Use skepticism to point you into your own direct experience, right? So if you're skeptical about what I'm saying, that's cool, that's what I'm trying to say here, is go into your experience, don't believe what I'm saying but have this overarching openness to what somebody is saying in a video and, and just see how can you make it useful for yourself. Again, I'm not making these videos to kind of try to spread dogma or create a belief system in people. So again, if you're trying to you know, get into an intellectual, intellectual engagement with what I'm saying, it's kind of missing the point, really. These videos are I'm just sharing. I enjoy making the videos and people tell them they help tell me they're helpful. But really what I found the most helpful for people and in my own journey is keep trusting your direct experience above everything else. So try to use these videos like that. And always trust your experience. Trust your emotion. If I'm saying something and it triggers anger, it triggers fear, it triggers doubt. Don't believe the doubt, you know, that, that's your mind's defense mechanism as a belief is triggered, right? As I say something that threatens to shatter one of your beliefs, your mind is going to push back and say, this is dangerous. I don't like this. I need to speak out against what he's saying. Just become curious about what's happening there. What's going on internally? Why am I triggered? But don't judge the emotion either. So th this is, this is, the key point that I'm specifically trying to address here is I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm trying to point out beliefs. I'm trying to help you see past the mind's kind of, you know, closed off perspective. But 
that doesn't mean that you need to judge yourself for having doubt, for having fear, for having whatever emotion you're having, whatever thought you're having. It's really about seeing that you're not it, not identifying with it, but have compassion. This is really the balance that I try to point to. And sometimes I will fluctuate, right? I went through a period where I was really just focusing on the compassion aspect. But alongside with that, you like you need to push back a little bit on the mind's kind of on the ego side of things because you want to allow everything, but the the ego can take advantage of that. The 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 mental resistance patterns can take advantage of that and just be like, oh, everything goes. So I try nowadays to be more balanced and be more direct when it's very clear that somebody's seeing from a, a fixated perspective. I try to point that out more. So it's really about the balance. The The other thing I wanted to talk about on in this video, which is exactly along the same lines, it's not really a separate thing, but another way of talking about this is you are in the perfect position for your path to unfold. So the mind can get very focused on other people's kind of journeys. And that is helpful in that taking advice and guidance from somebody that's walked this path before you, whether it's recovery from chronic illness, whether it's awakening, whether it's really anything in life, taking guidance from somebody that's that's walked the steps is so helpful, right? You're gonna kind of get pointed out where you could have gotten stuck on your own and people that have walked this path before you have already been there. It's obvious what the sticking points are. <clears throat> it's been so helpful for me to listen to somebody like Angelo who will just point out so clearly where all the sticking points are. And then I've seen that with other people when we're talking about this, it's so clear to me where they're getting stuck because I was stuck there six months ago. So that kind of stuff is so helpful. But here's the caveat is that don't fixate so much on somebody else's path that you start trying to paste that over your own. It's such a common way that our minds work, that it wants the formula. It wants the, the wants to follow in the footsteps of somebody else. So there's the helpful bit, which I just covered, but you are going to actually have your own completely unique story. You are going to have your own unique journey, your own unique path. And it looks like life right now as it is for you. The drama in your family right now, if that's what it is, you know, challenges with a family member, challenges in a relationship, challenges in a work environment, all of those things, that is the path showing up for you right now in your life. That is the way that this deep work is done, is these challenges will point out where is there resistance in my life. Sure, maybe we learn to, to meditate and at first that's very difficult and we learn to do the feeling work. And again, that, that is an important phase and it's, I feel like it's helpful to carry that through with you. But you have to get to the point where the really deep resistance patterns kind of only come out in dynamic situations, in the grittiness of human living. That will point you to where is there still ego? Where is there resistance? Where, it, where is suffering still arising unnecessarily, right? For me, I've been through some challenging phases, but every time that challenge was exactly what I needed. So, you know, your mind might doubt it when I say this, that you are in the perfect environment right now for yourself. Like, like this is exactly the space you need to be in right now. You need to see exactly what is happening in your experience that is making it so challenging and you need to be willing to let go and you need to be willing to feel and you need to be willing to be vulnerable and open and you will learn what you need to from this but don't get caught up in the mind saying oh i need to do the things that kyle did or i need to do the things that angelo did or any person that you find helpful talking about this stuff that's that's a trap right i had to see that in myself that True freedom, true spontaneity, which has come online a lot for me recently, came from full expression of myself in my circumstances, not trying to escape from my life and try to replicate somebody else's path. It was like, no, die into your life every moment as it is with no escape, with no getting out of this. This is it, right? But you have to see, you know, what's holding you back. 
and it's okay. It's part of it. There's nothing wrong that you're struggling, that there's tension, that there's resistance. That's part of it. You have to see that. But don't get caught up in beliefs and mental kind of mind roads saying, oh, if only, you know, like jealousy and, um, you know, seeking somebody else's path is just, it's a load of nonsense really because the person that you're jealous of, they had to go through their own exact challenges to get to where they are. So if you want to get to where they are, you have to go through your own challenges, right? There's nothing that's special about somebody's path. There's nothing special about Angelo, Ajashanti, Eckhart Tolle, any of these big teachers, they just let go in their lives as they exactly needed to. And then sure, they've, they're very powerful um, pointers and teachers and guides. They're very powerful. I'm not taking that away from them, but there's nothing special about their path as opposed to yours. Your, your life as it is, it's the best possible news, is exactly what you need, right? There's, there's nothing special about anybody else's path. Take what's helpful, get inspired by how they were able to let go. That's what's helpful. Use their pointers, but don't believe that, oh, if only I was in the situation that Eckhart Tolle was in, or only if I was in the situation that, I don't know, anybody that you listen to, if only I was in the situation that I was in, or Red and Eagle, or any aspect in any area of life, that's a trap. And you're, you know, you, you're really missing, you're really missing the real opportunity to let go when you do that. Because the opportunity to let go is right here, right now, in your life, as it is. So trust yourself, take everything I say with a pinch of salt, right? I talk about this and I talk about that and, you know, I'm just having fun here sharing and it's nice that it's helpful for people, but take it with a pinch of salt, use what's helpful. And if you've got no clue where to start, then I would say, yeah, my content's pretty helpful. But if stuff doesn't resonate, then trust your experience. So trust yourself over anything that I say or anybody else says. You've, you've got all the kind of deep knowing inside you, but it's helpful for other people to help bring that out of you. So that's the fine line, right? It's using pointers and guidance, but not denying yourself through that. And this gets clearer, right? I remember I had no idea about any of this early on. Um, and I, I got a lot of helpful guidance and then that allows things to clarify. So I think that's it. All the best and you've got this.